Good morning, good afternoon. See Teddy in the background over there. Um, I am outside enjoying this beautiful day with Teddy and I thought I would do the five minutes recapping outside or about five minutes, I'm just gonna guess on time. Uh, I didn't bring weights out, but I have bricks in the backyard. So that's what I'm gonna use, just proof that you truly can use anything. So here's your fives again, if I can remember them because I didn't write them down and bring them out. Um, so the first move, Teddy. The sand stays in the sand table. The first move was getting down on the ground, plank position on your knees or your toes, and you were just doing taps, tapping whatever it was that you had. So we've got our um, bricks here. Keep those hips level with your body, shoulder blades back and down, focus on your breath, making sure that if you feel strain in your back or your, tip, your hips are tipping, you drop those knees to the ground. You can also take out the tap. Just hold your plank. Focusing on our breath and our length. Teddy's curious what's happening here. Teddy, where's your bubbles? Where's your bubbles? You've got 15 seconds left. Pull those shoulder blades away from your ears. Again, abdominal muscles pull in and up. Tapping if you're comfortable with it for five, four, three, two, and one. Next move is going to be bicep curls so for our bicep curls again I've got I don't know what a brick weighs but I've got bricks here standing up tall shoulder blades back and down I'm just gonna lift up and down bending at the elbow keeping your breath nice and strong so as you inhale through your nose fill those lungs a little bit more exhale out through your mouth we've got about 30 seconds left remember here on this one slight bend at your knee. We're not swinging our arms, so we're just bending at the elbow, pulling our shoulder blades down. So as we get tired, sometimes this happens. Just consciously pay attention to that form. Another 20 seconds. Focus on that breath and your length. Elbows blue in by your side. I hope you guys can hear me. I propped the phone up on the windowsill. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next. We've got our reverse fly. So for the reverse fly, shoulder blades getting back and down. Slight hinge at the hips, slight bend at the knee, making sure we're not rounding out our back or overextending our back. So a nice lengthened spine here. Slight bend at your elbow. Lift up by hinging at the shoulder joint. Pull those shoulder blades away from your ears. Focusing still on our breath. It's really easy to hold our breath as we get tired. As we lift our arms up, Want to make sure you're not hinging at the hips so we're not lifting through the hip joint. Be careful if you have any little children around that you're not bumping them in the head with whatever it is you're using for weights. And again, we're not doing anything at the hips. It's just through your shoulder joint. We're also not bending and extending at the elbow. Five, four, three, two, and one keep that chin away from your chest standing up now we've got our upright row so this is where we pretend that we are zipping up a sweater palms face in knuckles face out thumbs face towards each other just gonna lift and lower leading with the elbow again feel that length in your breath the length in your spine nothing's happening through our hips so we're not swinging our hips here feeling those feet planted firmly in the ground neutral rest again I can't see myself um, because it's really sunny it's awesome that it's sunny it snowed yesterday and today it's 60 I don't understand but I'll take it so hopefully you can hear me and see me we've got another 20 seconds and then after this is the triceps and then that's it tomorrow we have a new move one minute a day five four three two and one. All right, next move. Slight bend at our knees, shoulder blades back and down, pulling in and up through your center, hinge at the hips, working against gravity here. If you're standing up, you're not working against gravity. We want to work against gravity to work our triceps. So from here, draw those elbows up by your side, glue them by your side. We're only changing now at the elbow joint. So extend and bend. If you have multiple weights, you might want a lighter weight than what you did for bicep curls on this one. So the reverse fly and the triceps typically use a lighter weight than what you would do for the upright row and the biceps. 
as we extend those arms, we're not hinging at the shoulder. So again, showing you what not to do. So keep those elbows up, extend and bend. Really concentrate on the muscle as you use it. So you can pause at the top. When I pause, I feel my triceps. That's the muscle right above your elbow in the back of your arm. 15 seconds left. I don't know if you guys can see Teddy, but he's pretty darn cute over here playing with the toys. Five, four, three. Can you say hi? Two, and one. Can you say hi? Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. And there you go. I hope that was about five minutes. Um, hopefully, everybody can get outside. Bye -bye. If it's nice where you are. Um, it's gorgeous. I'm going to try to run tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, later today as well. All right. See ya.